the narcissist has abandoned themselves. This is why you will constantly see them online seeking the affirmation of others, posting pictures, etc., etc., etc. People with an everlasting fountain inside of them do not need the approval of others constantly, constantly, constantly. Even once a week, I mean, truly secure people do not need, even doing this right now, I don't need a single like. I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and I'm going to do what I'm going to do and be what I am, no matter what the attention, because that's just who I am. But narcissists will just incessantly seek after approval in absolutely everything that they do. They have to look the part, sound the part. But in actuality, they are not ever really part. They're mentally distracted 24-7 by appearances. Man, it, it must be absolutely draining to always be worried about what people are thinking about you. And you never find yourself and enjoy just unmitigated the things that you love. No matter what anyone has to say or think. And you get to spend your time the way you want. Albeit, you do the good things that you need to do along the way with your kids and your family, etc. So you do those things too. But you're not bound by any man. This is how each and every single man should be. We are, individ we are individual people. The only reason we get wrapped up in these relationships that we, the way that we do is because of our insecurities. We are constantly worried that somebody's going to abandon us. This goes back to the Garden of Eden, the fall. That's, that's never going to go away. So you better get used to being alone, in a sense. And even when you've got somebody, man, um, it's only a matter of time. You're going to get old and they're going to die. Or they could have a stroke and never not really be there mentally anymore. You have got to learn to be independent and not codependent. This is what narcissism is. And this is why the church is full of slaves, not the good kind, not people who obey God, but people who are more, more worried about the traditions, more worried about how to please their neighbor in all the wrong ways. And we're not focused on the godly principles. Even the everyday stuff is just so messed up. I shouldn't even have to say these things because most of our society shouldn't even be at the place that we're at right now, the way we think. Good luck, y'all.